Hello, I'm Jim the Hippie Redneck Geek, and we are starting part three of the deck rebuild. So today, we've got to put bolts into these pieces down here. We've got to bolt this here through here. So we just came back from the hardware store, got some eight inch, half, uh, half inch, eight inch long uh, carriage bolts and some, a spade bit. So we're going to take and go drill. The holes are here. Since the spade bit's not long enough to go all the way through, we're gonna have to do this part a uh, little at a time. So that's gonna be the first part. So stick around for part three. So I'm trying to get the spade bit here. It's only about six inches long, and we'd have to take try to drill through. Um, we're actually having actually not even six inches as long. It's only about four or five inches of usability. Uh, so we can drill through. Um, the 2 by through the 4x4 four four. it doesn't quite make it through it just the tip makes it through to the um, other 2 by on the other side so we uh, um, get the um, everything uh, drilled through and then we can come back from the other side and drill back uh, into the 2 um, by uh, on the other side and back to the 4x4 four uh, four four post um, back into the hole so it's it's a little bit uh, worky it doesn't we don't quite get the bolt holes always lined up exactly right uh, I mean we're it's I should say it's not that they're lined up we got them lined up the problem is they're not necessarily in in line straight in line as well so we got to use a little bit of persuading to get it through and uh, and we go to ratchet it down and all I've got is three quarter inch uh, uh, as a short uh, uh, a short socket. I don't have a deep well socket, and uh, so we said, "Well, we'll just take and do, it, do, it, do it by hand." And uh, then I go back and find a um, deep well socket uh, a little bit later on here. Uh, I don't remember we had to step away for for a second here and so we got a little bit of filming here of absolutely nothing going on oh he was going looking for a wrench that's what it was he went looking for a wrench and uh tried to get get it but uh with the uh with the short socket but uh that just wasn't working um but i did get uh uh a, a deep well later on here so we get the first one in place and he goes back and drills the holes for the uh, second one back there and uh, so this this is lots of fun with a uh, with a spade bit um, they had a spade bit that was like 12 16 inches long or something like that, that maybe 18 inches long but they wanted 11 bucks for just that one bit, and I think bought a whole set of spade bits for 15 bucks. Now that I think about it, though, I should have gotten and gotten, uh, I guess what they call an arbor or something like that, so it's a uh, drill, and gotten that instead because uh, you could get those longer. But uh, this worked. We did finally get it to uh, get it to work, and. We didn't make it get uh, uh, work. It just was a little bit of a pain having to uh, take the boards down and uh, drill them from the back. Um, don't remember what happened here, but I think we stepped away for a second again. Then he had to come back. He come back to finish up drilling up, and yeah, I found the uh, deep well socket. So I come in here and uh, start. Uh, ratcheting those down um, we did have one bolt that has got some uh, that looks like it got somebody got a hold of it with a um, a pair of pliers or in or uh, vice grips or something like there and kind of ate up the uh, threads a little bit so uh, I have to go and uh, take that uh, bolt and uh, do a little bit of work now we're putting on the tape on this uh, so that uh, we can protect this here. So we're putting tape on everything uh, 
joist tape, duck joist tape, uh, butyl tape. Some of it's butyl and some of it's not. I think most of it, of this joist tape that I bought was butyl tape, but I think there was one or two of them that I bought wasn't, uh, but I th I'm pretty sure that most of it was uh, butyl tape of some sort. Uh, some of it's thicker than others, and it's just, it's like all over the place as far as what you get, uh, depending on what brand you buy, so. Now we're putting down the joist uh, that we had cut from above, so we had to figure out exactly where it's going to go in place here to make sure that we have the um, uh, pad here big enough for the hot tub, but I didn't want it to be over big as well, so uh, we went down, went and marked where the joist used to be um, above, and then marked it down on here so we can put them back in place, and we have them going back in place where they were at. So they, these are going to fit um, basically in the same place as where they were above, but just down lower. And we have to add two more joists in here uh, because uh, the um, where we cut out, we didn't cut out the farthest out joists, joists so we needed to uh, expand it. We probably could have done it a little bit differently and done... It with only a single joist added, but I wanted to be have as uh, much support and have it as wide as possible, to that you know it wasn't too narrow on it. So you know we ended up adding two uh, more joists in here that I happen to have some leftover from another project somewhere, uh, two two by sixes. Uh, so now we're putting them in, tying them in here, uh, and because this is going to be a hot tub, we're doing. Uh, uh, a tie on the back side uh, on each side <coughs> so we're getting uh, so it's going to be pretty solid here um, me getting up and down over there my knees and my back just <laughs> just don't like it too much so uh, that's what happens when you get old and fat so it is what it is but uh can try to get as much done as I can here and show him what needs to be done and uh, then I set him loose while I'm uh, t uh, taking care of something else I don't remember what I'm doing but he's uh, I think I'm explaining to him uh, the easiest way to oh that was that one board had a slight uh, it's got a slight twist in it so I was showing him how to pull the twist out of that board when putting it in place so let's put it in place here, and this thing can do the twist at the back. You know, you get it squared here, and then then pull the twist out. And so I'm showing them how to do that. And uh, it's not that it's overly critical. This is going to be below, beneath the hot tub here, uh, and it wasn't a bad twist. It was just a slight twist. Uh, but uh, get the uh, get all the. Um, Joist in place here for this year, and, uh, and then we end up taping those last two joists because they uh, didn't have tape on them. The other ones had tape on them because we did pull the, cut them down from the upper the deck above, so we didn't have to add tape to them. Uh, see, I'm going back there to. Why was I going back there? Oh yeah, I was showing him how to take handle that twist there. Yeah. The, on that there because he just did the front all he did was the front ones now I'm standing in front of the camera so you can't see what he's doing so of course me my big fat body thinking standing in the way so you can't see what's happening but uh, I get out of the way and I didn't realize what I'm doing here so he gets there and finishes up on these uh, deck pieces here and get, gets um, uh, he's finishing up the last of the brackets. Um, so it is kind of tight in there. So it does take a little bit of time to get through uh, finishing up these brackets here. Uh, and uh, I think he scr uh, scratched his knuckle or something. Something. He was like, oh, I ain't got a, another blister or something. Or splinter or something, I don't know. But, uh, 
takes a little bit of time here to get in here and get all these brackets in place here. And I think he's down to... I think this is the last one that he's doing right here. Or, yeah, this is the last one. No, he's got still got one, a couple more here to do. I see he's got uh, one, two, three, four more here left to do. Um, that I can see here. And then we have to, uh, after he finishes those four, let's see if uh, we're doing the tape. Maybe he did those four. Oh yeah, I can. I, I didn't see, couldn't see him. So that was all of them. So now we're putting tape on the last two joists that we didn't have put in place there. Um, and then that's uh, finishing up the last of this. Uh. Okay, so we're out here working on the very back parts here, this angle part here, the very last piece here, and that angle part over there, uh, over the uh, by the air conditioner here. So we didn't get any film of this working on this here because most of this was just moving these blocks around and taking recutting the 4x4 posts here uh, to fit and everything so that everything was right because they were not quite in the right place so we had to move them around so now we're just putting tape joist tape here on this one here and then I gotta put a secondary block uh, piece of, uh, behind here and a secondary over there and then we can tape that up and then we'll be putting joist here starting next So before we take and put the joist up there, we had to tie in these uh, pieces to get a second board here on top of these here. So it's doubled up here uh, for these uh, supports here. Uh, one of my other grandkids came over and decided to help here for a little bit this day here. Uh, I believe this was Thursday evening. So yeah, he's uh, came over to help here. Um, so we're actually taking doubling up this board here, I'm taking tell him say here, this is what you got to do in order to double it up, and uh, we needed to get a pair of clamps there to take and pull it together because it was kind of bowed just a little bit, and then we're taking tying the end piece, put a 45 on it, taking tying the end piece there uh, into it so that it it all gets all tied together so that it, uh, it's all locked in, uh, and no part of the frame is separate from the frame which I had before. This like the uh, the supporting frame, this back part here was not tied to the front part and uh, didn't even have any bracing to uh, supporting it together. So it was all tied only by the joist. So we'll get it in there and then we get tape put on it. Uh, go to put the tape on it and I'm trying to explain to them. Actually, it's here. Uh, I'm putting the tape on over there on the far corner, the uh, far diagonal there first, and uh, we get it all bunched together there in a little bit there. And this is uh, butyl tape, and when it sticks to itself, it's there's no getting it apart. So I had a, literally had just enough to finish that board uh, with that tape there, that roll of tape, and uh, so had to cut out a chunk of it and and uh, uh, come back and finish it up with the uh, another piece here. So we take now get the other boards together here and we're putting down the tape on it here uh, and then we go back and use this here and take and finish up this last little bit here on that far board. And then we start, start getting the uh, joist brought over here. These are all eight foot uh, two by two by six eight footers here and then we have some two by six twelve footers coming in here and uh, so we get them over here and he starts putting them in here. It's like this, it's like, these aren't standing up here. And I said, look, if you didn't put them down so that they're not so far, then they can do it. So I grabbed one of the eight footers. So I'm gonna cut, cut it actually down to eight. And we had a storm roll in, so we didn't get anything done left that night. We had had to end early. Uh, so next day, uh, Nick and I are out here. So I had forgot to mark where the joists were going to go. Well, it didn't matter because we moved everything. So I get out a square, uh, a T-square here that I have for um, uh, drywall and use it to um, 
to eyeball it to think, find out exactly you know where it was you know squared out to put the joists and stuff. Then use Pythagorean's theorem and using by doing measuring the angles and making sure that the, the angles all matched up that we were actually square with it and then marked out where the uh, joists are going to go. Uh, now we didn't do markings on the diagonals because those will get uh, put in place after we get these others put in place and uh, because I don't have uh, I didn't want to do any calculations I was just going to take and put them in place and then measure them over and say okay this is where they're going to screw into place here. Um, so he's uh, we had gotten the eight footers cut earlier and he's putting those in place while I'm cutting 12 footers and uh, cutting the 12 footers and putting them in place uh, so you see we've got so we're taking alternating back and forth here so that it ties the two uh, two parts of the uh, deck together here uh, so that it's uh, completely tied to, tied end to end from front to back uh, of the deck here and uh we get these all into place and start putting down the um, uh, ties, the Simpson strong ties in here, and get them tied down. And then uh, uh, we wanted to only just work on the ones that went all the way through out to the thing there because I had to figure out how I was going to cut, mark out, and do the. Um, um, how I was going to do the um, oh, can't even think. The, the diagonals there. Uh, how I was going to take and get that in place and get those marked out the way I wanted to. And uh, so we were taking putting down the um, getting the strong ties down and doing some of the taping at the same time because I uh, I wanted to do something while he was putting down the the strong ties while well, he was hooking, the, hooking up the strong ties I was putting down the tape for a couple of rows there and uh, well we were both putting down tape so we would take and get he would get a strong uh, get a 12 footer in and then we would take and lay down the tape and uh, then he would take and do an eight, uh, eight footers we were only doing just the connections right there and that spot there we still had to take and do the connections further out on the strong ties out there but we were just getting these parts down here done and uh we get uh done and we ran out of the t ran out of tape i think now we still had enough a little bit more of tape left there on that roll um but uh just wait for him to finish up the uh um getting the uh, tie downs in place here so we're having to adjust them every once in a while to get it in place here so I just wait for him to get those tie downs in and uh, this is on Friday evening here I believe and so we're taking getting everything adjusted get the tie downs in and uh, we try to get at least the basics of the tie downs to um, the for the 12 footers and the base uh the eight footers at least on one end of them uh done here on friday evening uh that was going to be our end goal for friday was to at least get these all in place here and so he's putting in the uh um the uh plates here and unfortunately the battery dies on the camera here before we get too very far along in this here and uh we start up on Saturday morning. Now we get out here, and I have figured out how I'm going to do the diagonals here. So I go and grab a um, 12 foot two by six, and cut it in half because the diagonals are going to be like five foot seven and eight, uh, seven and three eight, five eighths or something like that. I can't remember exactly right now, but uh, um, so I grabbed a 12 footer two by six and cut it in half at with a 45 and then start marking for the uh, um, where the uh, where it's going to be cutting on the um, joist and uh, unfortunately I uh, cut the joist long the first time I'm like going whoops something ain't right here and uh, I got to go back and cut them and mark them and cut them again I was like I marked on the wrong side of the board uh, for the where it was going to needed to be cut uh, so I got a 45 on both ends of that board 
um, and uh, so it uh, butts up, so it cut, cuts that corner there, four, four foot one way, four foot the other way, so at a diagonal it's five foot seven and seven eighths or six eighths or five, three eighths, five eighths, something, I don't remember, somewhere around that, uh, that area. And so then we get it uh, screwed up in place here, and it, uh, so that uh, the diagonal is uh, there. And so we use the we put the diagonal there so that whenever the, we put the decking down, it has a place to actually end the decking onto the board. Um, so I had to move this scaffolding here out of the way so we can get work this other corner here as well. So I get the board, get that board cut and. Uh, started and uh cut on one end then i think mark it and uh mark those other boards and uh it's like i was going to have to cut from the top down standing on a ladder to for these joists if i was going to do them in place and i said nah that's not going to work so he's over there putting the tape down on the, this other joist i says no nope, let's do uh, let's uh actually let's take remove those uh joists there and uh um then uh we take those joists out and i can cut them uh as they need to be uh for the diagonal end so uh he's waiting waiting for him to finish this um one here actually i was mistaken about that we were actually taking putting some tape down on there so i had to doing some tape on the the other side there at this time but uh so yeah, he's now getting into the screw gun to come over and um, take those boards loose. I think yeah, he must have went or took them loose and started digging, going back and doing. Uh, all right. Uh, so now I come over. I get the uh, the boards here. So I cut them uh, where where the, where they were marked for their length for the angles there. Now it's. This is like almost a perfect angle to look at that 45, and it looks like they're not cut right. They're not just, the problem is they're just not set back in place exactly perfect yet. So, um, but uh, er everything fits in there perfectly well here when this is all done with here. And uh, so we get um, we're Trying to remember what we're doing here. Oh, we're taking uh, getting some more tape. We ran out. Uh, we ran the ta uh, ran out of the piece of tape there, so we had to go get some more tape. And I was cutting that board, so we we're taking put this board into place here now here for the diagonal here. So that's a forty five degree forty five degree diagonal cut off there. So my twenty by twenty deck has basically sixteen square foot cut out of it. So instead of four hundred square foot, it is. 384 square foot so uh 16 square foot missing out of it just for the search for aesthetics here uh, and so we go and put in the uh finish down the last of the joist tape here and uh work on getting the the joist tape here completed now uh, that the goal here is to today is to finish uh, all these joists and we wanted to get out here and uh after finishing the joist, we wanted to get out here and get a couple of pieces of uh, um, decking down, but uh, unfortunately we had uh, uh, some company show up here, uh, and uh, we ended up uh, not getting any more work done here for this year. But we did get here, everything there is now completed here uh, on part three here uh, that finishes all the joists. Uh, and everything so it's now nothing but decking and railing and I'm still trying to decide on how I'm what I'm going to do for railing yet so I'm just going to do all the decking down and come back and take, cut out the um, wh where the decking is going to go later on so the, uh, this is going to be the end of um, the of part three here uh, we've got the uh, joist in uh, this will be the end of part three we will be starting part four. Yeah, starting starting port, part four tomorrow morning. So, well, Sunday morning. This is Saturday evening here. Um, we've got everything we wanted to do with part three here, uh, including tying everything, getting all the pieces all uh, locked in in place.